I'll go get the deal papers while you spend a bit more time with Point Taken. But the clock's on this time, mate. Sign up and walk away. Don't tell me you're thinking of buying my share. Well, if it's the one up for grabs, I'm just about to sign the deal. I swear, offering to buy much well was genius. It was all a ploy to get your money. That's not possible. You've been tough for a fool, Kira. you an extension on your latest assignment so you don't have to worry about uni, okay? Do you want me to check your chart? No, no, it's okay. Flowers are from your friends at med school, by the way. Thanks. You're still feeling guilty about Ben. Any point telling you not to? Got a call from your grandmother. She'd like me to go over. How's the chemo going? Good. I think she just wants someone to hold her hand. You be okay if I pop over for a couple of days? Go for it. Good. Well, I'll leave early in the morning. Uh, i just got to work out a few meetings. Sure. Go be with Grant. Tell her I say hi. Cool. I'll call you when I get to Mudgery Bar. OK. All right. Look, I've got to make some calls uh, and get some packing done. Dad, that's fine. I'll see you when you get back. OK. You take care. See ya. See you, Rachel. Anyone I know? Uh, just someone I had a meeting with today. Not Ursula Kruger from Flab Squad. She is a TV producer. They leave no stone unturned. She called me as well. And? Well, if you think a camera crew in theatre will do us some good. I know it will. Well, I have no objection, if the patient agrees. She does. And Chris, of course. He doesn't. Well, there's your problem. I'm not done with him yet, especially now you're on board. Can I just say, I thought you'd be harder to persuade. <laughs> Ursula was quite compelling. I see no harm. Other hospitals let camera crews in their theatre? Absolutely, and look what it's done to their profiles. And the on-screen surgeons, they're like gods in the eyes of the public. Get me some of that. 30 grand was yours, 20 was Maxwell's. You're both as stupid as each other. Jane, I went to the stables, all right? I saw the horse, she'd just broken a personal bass. You've been conned, Kieran. And this nag, maybe it's a race horse, maybe it isn't. What would you know? I know, Henry. All right, he's Maxwell's best mate. He works with Sarah. He wouldn't sniff me or Isaac. OK. If you're so sure, test him out. Tell him there's a problem and you need your money back, temporarily or no, whatever. it's too late for that. You can't just let him get away with it. And what about me? I want my money. I'm not letting him get away with anything. But if he is ripping me off, I'm not going to go ringing the alarm bells. Because then I'd lose everything. So what is your brilliant plan? I'm going to do my homework. You're going to be late for school. Cool. Not cool. What were you thinking, leaving your books in my exam room? Anything could have happened to them while we were away on camp. School's boring. Why can't we have camp all year? Because then you'd get bored with that. Doubt it. I can go rock climbing every day. Why don't we do the big wall at my gym tonight? All the way? I mean, you just want to see me fall off the overhang. <laughs> I like it when you don't have a girlfriend. We do more stuff. Mm. Don't worry, you'll find another one. You always do. Nearly our floor. Um, excuse me, are you married? Harry? Sorry, we don't just go up to ladies and ask them stuff like that. Uncle Isaac says that's exactly what you do. He says that you're the master of picking up women. Enough, Harry. He's really nice. Everyone says so. So, are you married? Actually, I'm very single. I guess the first thing is to suss if the horse is the wheel point taken. Yeah, I'll take some photos and compare them to the ones on the map. Keep an eye out, will you? He's just in here. My mate Robert got the, the last thing he wants is to sell his share. I mean, would you throw away the chance to sit in the winner's box next cup day? She just gets better and better, this one. 0.5 under a record in training this morning. If I hadn't just bought a new place in Napier, I'd buy this share myself. 50 grand, that's a lot. You'll get it back, no sweat. But hey, this is no hard sell if you think no, not for me. 
That's totally your loss. Believe me, I've got plenty of interested parties. Chris, can I interrupt for a second? Sure. This is Ursula Kruger, Chris Warner. Very pleased to meet you. Ursula produces the weight loss program that Gemma Jansen was in. Mm, Gemma is our most popular champion, but now the poor love's got this awful disease, thanks to all that spare skin she's been left with. It's awful to say, but it's kind of a blessing you have to remove it. What do you call that operation? Napronectomy. That's it. A walk in the park for a surgeon of your calibre. Ursula is very keen to film the surgery. We've discussed this. Not with me, you haven't. I've spoken to Rachel Gemma and your CEO, Callum Mackay, and I've had three positive responses. So I thought it was about time that you and I put our heads together. Callum said yes to this. Flab Squad has a great message, Chris. Obesity doesn't have to be a life sentence. People like Gemma are an inspiration through the good times and the bad. So why hide the bad? That would be dishonest. Maybe so. But Gemma's surgery is not broadcast material. Why not? You see more graphic scenes on medical dramas. I won't add to the risks my patient faces by having a film crew in theatre. <sighs> Two-person crew won't add risk, surely. Look, Gemma will get the operation she needs. We'll send out positive messages about the fight against obesity, and you'll get good PR. I'm sorry, I will be guided solely by my patient's welfare. Great. So, on what basis do you consider two extra people and a camera a threat to Gemma's welfare? So, the big race this afternoon. Point taken, gonna win. Well, if she doesn't, I'll leave this seat. Oh, good. She's done to make some money, then. You better believe it. Uh, Glenn, can we have two coffees, please? So, what do we have to talk about? Oh, yeah, I wanted to talk to you about how you're scamming me. Uh, I'm sorry? You know, selling fake shares in a racehorse. Ring any bells? Do you love how these things are video nowadays? A lot. And you'll get a bell, I swear. But hey, this is no hard sell. If you think no, not for me, it's totally your loss. I think your latest sucker is gonna buy, by the way. Especially if Robbo does this, let me buy your shares of Fury Team. Seriously, Karen, this is a uh, misunderstanding. That was me talking about another horse. Yeah, Henry, breathe, it's all right. I know you're a lying piece of horse proverbial. You sell shares you don't own. Cream some off the top and use the rest to keep your other investors happy. It's your classic Ponzi scheme. Mate, um, sorry, truly. I've been going through hard times and I needed to sell an extra share to get out of a hole. You'll get your money back. Henry, sweetheart. you're a liar. Why would I believe anything you say? Okay, look, I'll write a check right now. Yeah, no, don't bother. I don't want the money back. I want in. <laughs> 